Hello and welcome to Relatable Code. In this video, we're going to talk about view binding in Android. So let's get started. View binding is a very powerful feature in Android that really simplifies the way that you interact with your XML views. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to enable it. Uh, so you have to go to your uh, app module build.gradle right there. And inside your Android block, wherever you want, you have to add an option for build features, just like that. And inside build features, you have to write view binding like that equals to true. After that, you have to click on sync now for your Gradle. And it's properly synced, which means uh, we can now use view binding in our project. So go back to your uh, main activity and let's see how we can set up this view binding. Uh, so before your uh, on create here at the top, let's create a variable for that binding. We can do it like private late in it for binding of type activity main binding. Uh, and the name is activity main binding because if you notice, our XML is named activity underscore main. Okay, so that's why it was named activity main binding. Uh, that depends on the name of your XML file, okay? That's how uh, we now created a variable for uh, this view binding, but we need to give it a value. And we can do that below the super.onCreate call. Right there, click on Enter, and let's give our binding a value. We can do it with binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator. And that's how uh, we can get access to our XML layout. And below that, we have the set content view. We're going to change it from r.layout.activity underscore main to binding.root. And now we are going to see uh, the added value of using view binding. So in the traditional approach, uh, we used to uh, write find view by ID of type button and pass the ID of that button. Uh, but this is very error prone. And that's because if we write find view by ID of type button or dot ID dot, as you can see, uh, you have access to uh, many IDs besides the IDs that are present in your XML file. And that's because we're accessing the IDs of all of our resources. Okay, so here you can see uh, the XML uh, components of your activity. And below that, you have lots of IDs. So it's very easy to make uh, an error here and reference something, for example, uh, this ID, which is not present in your activity underscore main, which will cause a null pointer exception and crash your application which is why this approach is error prone, okay? Uh, but with binding, with view binding in particular, you can reference, for example, this btn simple toast very easily with binding dot btn simple toast, just like that. You don't have to use find view by ID and you don't care if it's a button or anything else. Uh, view binding already knows that without having to specify its type, okay? Which is why it's a very powerful tool and we're going to use it a lot in our future videos, which are XML related at least, okay? Uh, so here you can see we have uh, two added values. We have an added value of uh, type safety, for example. If you notice, if I click on binding dot uh, with respect to uh, the components that I have access to, they are only the components of our main activity. If you notice, I don't have any uh, any special IDs in this case, like the ones that we saw in uh, r.id, okay? Because we're not accessing all of the resources of our application, we're only trying to access the views of our activity underscore main dot XML. And that's why uh, view binding is a very powerful tool. It gives you that safety 
and it also helps reduce a lot of boilerplate code. I don't know about you, but I don't uh, really like to use find UI ID like that because you have to specify the type and you have to give it an ID. Okay, uh, so this can really reduce a lot of that boilerplate code. And if you feel that writing binding dot, uh, the idea of that view is uh, maybe troublesome, you can avoid that. You can write binding dot apply. And inside this apply block, you have access to uh, basically any view inside this activity. So now you can directly reference BTN simple toast like that. And uh, let's just replicate what we had here. OK, let's replicate that. We have an error because this context is not referring to the activity anymore. We can solve it with this at main activity, just like that. Let's delete these. and. Let's delete or comment out the reference for simple toast. Run our application again. That's our application. Click on display simple toast. And as you can see, it's completely functional. OK, uh, this really reduces a lot of boilerplate code. And uh, it's a very powerful feature in Android development. OK. One more thing to note about uh, view binding is that it doesn't use any annotation processing, okay, as compared to other uh, methods that help you achieve the same result. Uh, it doesn't depend on annotations. Annotations like, for example, this annotation, okay, that's called an annotation. And uh, annotation processing is a powerful tool, but it uh, really uh, slows your build time, okay? Your project's build time when you try to compile your project. Uh, this is not the case with view binding, which is why it doesn't have any uh, negative implications on your uh, project's build time as compared to other tools like, uh, for example, data binding or any other type of uh, binding that uses annotation, okay? If you find my type of content to be relatable, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for future content and I'll see you in the next video.